This is the 28th of May 2013, and on the 28th of January 1596, Sir Francis Drake died at sea, just to the right of the point behind me at the entrance to Portobello Cove, and the English fleet was brought into this entrance behind us, and Drake was prepared for burial. He had died full of depression as a result of a very unsuccessful voyage because in those days his voyages were measured by the finance it retrieved from the initial outlay of the expedition, how much gold and silver could capture from Spain, fortify England and help weaken Spain. But in Tudor England, no side on the Spanish or the English side could de deliver the knockout punch. And Drake was prepared for burial in the water behind me whilst his soldiers and sailors captured the fortifications here at Portobello. And next day Drake was taken outside the bay for burial 2.4 nautical miles behind where I'm sitting next to this gun. I was here in 1996 in December. We made a television program for BBC2 called In Drake's Wake. And the beauty of the website in Drake's Wake and with YouTube, this promotion video, which repeats some of the sentiment in that documentary, can constantly be revisited. And I want to briefly raise the case that we should look for Sir Francis Drake. The technology is available, the side scan sonar, the sub bottom profiling. And René Gomez of Scuba Panama has some equipment, boats and accommodation to entice a television production company to film the search. We need to raise funds. We want the Panamanians to find Sir Francis Drake. And we could eliminate controversy by saying if we find the coffin, we don't tell anybody where it is, we film with fibre optics. Drake is buried inside a lead coffin. It was probably hermetically sealed. Drake had the money to pay for a lead coffin in which he wanted to cheat the corruption of decay. And we could find a dry corpse, we could put a fibre optic camera inside and we would see Drake in his armour and with his sword. And we would know it was him because he was shot in the leg at Nombre de Dios in July 1572 and that archivist ball would be in the coffin today. If public opinion wanted Drake reinterred in London, for example, at Westminster Abbey or in his local church of St Andrews in Plymouth, then the momentum of the excitement could realise that ultimate aim of bringing Drake home where we could visit him and pay our respects, which he would prefer. He is unmarked, lying in the sea behind us, and unlike his contemporaries and other famous people in English history, he is not being visited. Today, René and I had a very spiritual experience, a unique dive. As I said, when I was bobbing around in the water, we were the only people to get physically as close as possible to Sir Francis Drake when we were at 150 feet under the sea in the blue abyss a long way from the shore in the peaceful settings in which Drake now rests. And I'm hoping once you've seen this video or you could pass the sentiment on to television production companies or to any corporate companies that would like to fund this expedition, please contact René Gomez at Scuba Panama or Michael Turner in Drake's Wake .co .uk. Thank you for watching this final video.